uh, before uh, we start today's session i would like to just give a small recap of what we where we stopped yesterday we just tried to understand the basic com uh, basic concept of uh, web services uh we understood we understood or we tried to understand the different components of web service uh we started with what a web service is uh why it is needed and uh, we moved on to the components of a web service i just uh, created um a simple uh web service uh using eclipse and we deployed it on uh, tomcat right so um just a brief uh, a web service is nothing but it is a service that is accessed via internet that is uh, your uh, web uh, what this web service is uh, different from the website or a web application is that this web service is a single complete entity it takes a single input or a multiple set of inputs and works on its own without being dependent on any other entity and gives you a standard output so it is self contained it is self efficient and it is kind of a plug and play component which can be added to any website right uh the examples that i gave were the stock market uh, um windows that uh, that you see in uh, bigger websites the weather forecast windows that you see uh, the currency converters that you see in bigger windows right uh, all these are examples of web service why web services are needed is because web services make the compatibility part of uh, uh the compatibility part very easy they become very interoperable because they are platform independent they they do not uh, stick to the platform in which they are developed they are omnipresent they can work on any platform they can communicate with services that are on any other platform and they are easy to design uh, because they involve um, a uh, just the conceptual design or the business logic they don't have a well defined ui that is a user interface like how a normal web application or a windows application would have and coming to the components we saw a uh, analogy to uh, calling a friend so i said to call a friend you you need to know his number to find him <clears throat> and you need to know um you need to have a device that is your phone to communicate and you need to have signal to carry your uh, signal and you need on top of it you need a common language which will help both of you to understand what the other person is talking about so if we compare this analogy to a web service a web service is identified or found by using a special xml file called as wsdl file which stands for web service definition language right it is a wsdl file uh, which is uh, describing a web service what it does and how to use the web service and the mode of communication the way you interact with the web service the language that you are going to use is xml right xml stands for extended markup language uh, it is uh, a very flexible language which is used by web services to communicate data and the uh, device or uh, the uh, uh, transmission line which will allow you to transmit data in xml format from one web service to another is called as soap which is simple object access protocol and the signal the uh, the main transmission point or the interaction point is going to be through a protocol that is called as http that is hypertext transfer protocol 
right so we designed a simple web service using uh, uh, a calculator web service which uh, probably did only addition and subtraction and we deployed it on a tomcat server inside my local instance i'm just going to open that eclipse file we are going to uh, run that uh, visual file that is your web service we will start with soap ui today Okay, the agenda for today, meanwhile, is one, we will see about SOAP UI, uh, some tools similar to SOAP UI. And three, you will see about installation of SOAP UI. Four, we will test our web service which we created uh, in the last session. We will uh, uh, test that web service using SOAP UI. We will try to see the basic components of a SOAP UI script of SOAP UI in general. Right. So this is what I am intending to cover today. So let us get started. Let me first bring the web service up and running. So this is a simple calculator web service which we uh, uh, wrote down the code for yesterday. This is not a tester's part. This is a developer's part. This is just to show you that a web service does not have a complex UI coding. If you take any functional uh, uh, website or a functional Windows application code, you will see that there is a very complex user interface coding involved. But in a web service, only the business logic is involved. The UI is almost near to no. Okay, that is one of the challenges that a tester will face as uh, he gets into web service testing. Right. So now let me just start my serv uh, server. Let me just start my visual file to run on my server. So. Right, the service is created now. So I'm just going to open the visual file and show you. Let me go to a browser. Okay, this is the web service definition language file or Vistel file which is in XML format. It pertains to the web service which we just created using Eclipse and deployed on the Tomcat server in my machine. This is a very, uh, uh, very much standard XML file which is generated by Eclipse itself. Most editors, whether it be a .NET editor like Visual Studio or a Java editor like Eclipse or NetBeans IDE, they have the capacity to generate this visual file these days. 
Okay. So provided you write the business logic and uh, uh, create a web service to publish it, you have to mention a server location, which in my case is my Tomcat server in my local machine. Uh, the port number is 8081. Uh, and I've given it a name called Calci. So this is going to be the end point in which my web service is published. Okay. So we have this visual file with us now. So now let us get into SOAP UI and see how we can test this particular file. Right. So now let us go to the SOAP UI part. Okay. Um, to talk about SOAP UI, SOAP UI is a very, very powerful API testing tool. It supports, um, it supports SOAP based web services and REST based web services. We will see more about SOAP and REST as we go on. So uh, this uh, SOAP UI has been uh, up and uh, getting prominence quite for some time now. So SOAP UI is capable enough to not only test the functionality of web service, but it also allows us to do something called as mocking of a service, which we will see in this course. And apart from this, SOAP UI also has an added performance test component called as load UI, which allows you to uh, do performance testing for your web service. Okay. Uh, so these these things, these aspects of SOAP UI will be covered in this uh, particular uh, webinar. Uh, so the first thing is functionality. When I say functionality, functionality of a web service means nothing but a behavior. In case of a normal web application or a Windows application, the functionality is tested using the UI, right? But here, a web service like we just saw while we deployed does not have any UI. It lacks UI, right? It, it is just comprised of a business logic or a business process. And it lacks UI completely. So the challenge for a web service tester is manually testing a web service is difficult unless or otherwise your development team gives some sort of minimal UI at least to your uh, web service that is deployed on your uh, office server. On the other hand, if it is a straightforward web service which actually lacks UI like most web services do, then instead of trying for manual testing, automation is a good option and that is where tools like SOAP UI come into picture, right? So uh, there are some other tools as well, uh, tools like Browser Stack, uh, App Perfect, um, and even IBM's WebSphere supports uh, web service uh, test plan creation, testing and stuff. So this, uh, this uh, tools which are in place compared to uh, SOAP UI are still gaining prominence because App Perfect is a, a tool which supports web applications, web services. They have also said that recently it supports web services also. But SOAP UI is a sole tool which which was determined and uh, designed to support web services and REST APIs in particular. So the functionality of SOAP UI is elaborate. There are two flavors of SOAP UI. One is the SOAP UI uh, open source version. Another one is SOAP UI Pro, which is the paid version. Uh, I will also be pointing out the difference between SOAP UI and SOAP UI Pro. Uh, you get a free trial version of, uh, I think, 30 days for uh, SOAP UI Pro if you uh, are willing to just give it a try. Right. So uh, let us get into the installation part. Uh, installation is very simple. Uh, SOAP UI takes very, very less time. You can simply go to SOAP UI site and uh, you will see under downloads, you will see the uh, SOAP UI and SOAP UI Pro links to download. Uh, if you click on it, it gets downloaded. Um, I think uh, if you have a good bandwidth, maybe in uh, uh, 5 to 10 minutes. And all that you have to do is double click and follow the wizard. Okay. 
So let us go to the site now.